Hello everybody, it is Sly Retribution, and I am here today with a video on Minecraft. Now, um, it's been a little bit of time, and I really am kind of lost in my videos right now, and how to do all these. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, I have two, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to upload them yet. And so I'm just going to kind of try to do an overview of most things that I've been doing in this video, just in case I haven't just in case I don't upload those other two videos. Um, now, it's one of the things I'm going to be doing today is mainly going to be, is mainly going to take up most of the time, okay? And that will be the Galacticraft mod. Now, I've turned around several times here and you've probably seen it, but I have a setup here on the little circular pad for the Galacticraft mod. And I kind of like how it turned out. It's just kind of small. It's not that big. I'm probably going to actually end up branching off like around it. So there'll be like a little, a little walkway that goes around it on each side and kind of comes out this direction but um it looks pretty nice also over here if you see this uh, I'll get back to that in a second but if you see this this is what was in one of the other videos and it was a about dinosaurs now I'm going to be making a dinosaur um a dinosaur what do you want to call it exhibit I guess and down at the end it's got like these the drawbridges and stuff and they build their way up to there. If you want to know how to make a drawbridge, it's pretty simple, especially if you have the um, if you have the mod. Just use the too many items mod to you know see how to make it. And it's made with a dispenser, a blank cast, some ingots, and some bronze and some uh, redstone. And it's pretty simple. It doesn't take that much. And they're really cool and it, you don't have to hook them up underneath with redstone all you have to do is just put them together and then I have one of the secret levers from the secret rooms mod right there on both sides so that way I can open it from it from in the room and out of the room now we're gonna go on here and I'm going to let's see oh yeah okay we'll go all the way down here and we'll go down a floor now I've created some mini me's and um, Basically, all that takes is a, an egg surrounded by gold ingots, I think. So it's pretty simple. Also over here, I have a reinforced copper chest with more things from the Galacticraft mod, like the fueling stuff and things like that. Now, um, another thing I've gotten working on is the enhanced portals mod. And, and probably in one of the videos, I will actually show you how to set up one of the portals. That way you will understand it better. And um, this is one of the portals. This is the main portal back to my house. Uh, what it takes is a portal modifier, or the one I'm using, the, the setup I'm using is a portal modifier, a dial device, um, a portal of any size that you want, a dialing upgrade, and a dimensional upgrade. Now, um, I take most of my ideas off of people from YouTube because I do like watching YouTube a lot. That's why it takes me a while to upload videos is because I get stu stuck watching YouTube videos. I'll get on there and start uploading stuff. My friends want me to play games and things like that. And it's just, it's, it's a lot of work. I mean, like, I know I don't even have that many subscribers. Probably not even any at all. I don't even remember anymore. But I just kind of do this for fun every now and then. Just throw a video up onto my channel. And don't even know if you people hear it, but if you do, I mean, that's fine by me. Like the video, comment, rate, and subscribe. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how these portals work. Basically, right here with the portal modifier, you set up a network. Then you can go into the dial device, and it has to be somewhat close to the portal, and you can um, add networks to it. And then this little symbol is basically this little symbol right here. You can choose the symbol, as you can see. And then you go right here, and if I was on another portal, you would put in the little nether star, do dial, you can give it a name, do dial, and then it'll send you there. Now, I've been to two places with the Galacticraft mod, and one of them was on the video. One of them was on a video, which was F F SFTV, that's my space station, it stands for Sly Flies, Sly, Sly Flies to Victory, basically. Sly Flies to Victory, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I just kind of gave it a quick name while I was in the video. I might actually kind of cut that piece out and put it in as I said that I had done this in a video. So you might actually have seen the clip. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take you there. We're going to dial that up. 
let's be sure I got my spacesuit on. You need this stuff to get into to go to space. And um, yeah, let me go ahead and jump on in there. Now I like these. I really do. I like these um, enhanced portal mod. Uh, I like this enhanced portal mod because it adds so much. Um, so much unwanted transportation to this game because normally I actually do I use the I use the teleportation on here to actually get to places I want to go so yeah uh, don't blame me I mean try not to I know you guys probably don't like that but whatever now over here um, I just have a couple things from when I was trying to set up a couple of devices up here and it was harder than I thought it would be so I've still got to get back to that start expanding on this that'd probably make it easier and um, over here this is where my oxygen collector is going to be at there's actually an oxygen collector in there and um, the portals is kind of right here because that because I decided to just make it really quickly and then right over here is the airlock frame so it's pretty simple here now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to redial my home I'm going to go back home because I have one more thing to show you actually a couple more things to show you back at the base I'm gonna go ahead and show you my setup for Galacticraft which is pretty simple um, it was really almost just makeshift because I wanted to go ahead and get started with the mod get up into space I want to go to Mars which I'm very happy because I'm also gonna show you something here in a second basically this is my setup I have two coal generators one of them is going to the oxygen portion of my experiments and the other one's going to, to the basically the refinery the fuel portion of my experiment so the refinery and the fuel loader um, now the fuel loader fuel loader is up here along with the rocket launch pad because it has to be attached to it and you can place a rocket down on there and then there's a little bit of fuel in here and you just put some coal in the coal generator and press load fuel now I also have a chest here now what's in the chest is something from the moon I've also been to the moon and I'm, I need to make a flag and put that down I'll probably do that in this video but what I have in here is a tier 2 rocket schematic okay I'm actually gonna go put that down in my system right now and that's also a couple of other things I got from a moon dungeon now I did one of the moon dungeons off camera just to get a feel for it it's actually much harder than it seems um, and I was doing it in easy mode because I like I just like playing Minecraft. Just simple. I sometimes I just play it peaceful just for the heck of it. And one thing that gets annoying is these little guys pick me up every time I come up here, and sometimes I get stuck in the wall because they're hollow. But I'm not even supposed to be in here. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna put this. You need a NASA workbench to get started on the Galacticraft stuff, and you basically put this in here, and then I thought you did. Ah, uh, here we go. You put that in there and you unlock the schematic, you go back, and then there's a tier 2 rocket. And you can go in between the different schematics that you have. So it's pretty fun. Um, I want to get to Mars because I want to get some slimelings because, again, they look like snakes. Um, I said that now so many times that it's not even funny, but I want to get an orange one. So I need a red and a yellow one, and you can actually mix colors, which is really fun and so on but what, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go to the moon and I'm going to or no we're not first we're gonna make a flag and then we're gonna go to the moon so let's see actually as a matter of fact I'm playing on peaceful right now now that I think about it flag alright we're gonna make one with my face on it and since I like the color orange we're gonna go with an orange flag and you make that by taking a normal flag which takes a canvas Oh god, I don't even know if I got that. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. You know what? I think I will do this next video. We'll set a we'll set a thing down on the moon. A flag down on the moon. In the next video. But the next video will be a while. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do it right now. Screw it. We can make this video longer, it's been a while. Um, yeah, it's late right now, so I'm kind of, kind of hesitant on everything to do, and of course I don't have any plating, so we're just going to do that. Go ahead and get some plating. Alright, so we got one steel plate, now what we need is we need string, and that's going to be difficult. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and take it off peaceful and put it on easy. That way I can see if I can get some mobs. See if I can get a spider. That'd be nice. I need spiders. Because they give me the string. But how do you make the canvas is my question. And the canvas was what again? Five string and two sticks. Okay, so. I have the sticks. Actually, no, I don't. I used all my sticks. So let's go down here. And I'm going to need at least two times whatever, two times four. So I need uh, eight sticks. Why do I keep on looking at that chest? I don't know. <laughs> eight. So we need two. No, actually, we only need one, but whatever. There we go. Got eight. I swear, if I did the math wrong, I promise. I'm actually pretty good in school. I make straight A's. I promise. I'm not lying, but if I screw up here, my bad. I'm retarded. And I knew this was going to come. Wow, okay. Yep, saw that one coming. What was I doing here? Oh yeah, I was making um some more of these things. What's in that? Oh yeah, I put one of the evolved skeleton bosses in there. I need to go put him away then. So we're able to make one of the canvases. Now if we go outside, are there any spiders to be seen? Oh no. I don't like it when the babies get in because I think they can go through that little one one way hole and then end up actually killing my my uh, villagers so that really suck if that actually did happen but if we go up here and we look in here good we got some more string in here and that should make us enough actually and one more yep perfect boom four canvases now we need to go downstairs. I really like my elevator system. Even though these guys, I gotta take these guys out of here. I really do, because that's, that's getting annoying. Every time I come down here, I have to worry about them. I'm gonna leave that steel compressing, because I don't think there's any other thing that you need it for. And we're just gonna make one, two, we need two, so that way we get three poles. We can do that right there. And do boom, 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 boom. Boom. Good. Now we got a flag. I actually changed my skin to Jabaka if you didn't notice by now. But um yeah. Just kind of for the fun of it. Um now, let's see, I need orange dye. Well, we can do that real quick. And Well, we can actually just do it. We can just do it right here in our inventory, or we can go all the way down to the bottom and do it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was going all the way down to the bottom of my house. There we go, an orange flag, perfect. Okay. Now, let us go to the moon. Actually, I don't know why I'm going over here. Dial that. That's the moon's little symbol for my world. That'll dial it. I'll jump in. And boom, I'm on the other side. And I've made my portal on the top of a well at an alien village base. Or an alien village, or whatever you want to call it. And they grow trees, and they look like, they look really cool actually. I like these, I think the texture packs make them look kind of weird. I've seen some of the people use the texture packs and look kind of weird. Now, um, one person I've been watching play, two people, actually several people, but one of the people I've been watching play um, Attack of the B-Team, or no, it's not Attack of the B-Team, it's actually, I think it's called Crack Pack, and it's Etho. Now, I like the way he does his corridors and stuff like that, so... 
I will probably actually use his design at some point just because I like it. But um, for some reason, it keeps deleting my map. I don't know why it keeps doing that. And do I not have a? I don't have a thing here. Oh, it's because I gotta save the game. I just remember that. Moon. No. Um, yeah, moon portal. And I will actually just come back to this like right as we come to the end of this video. So sorry if you don't like that. But um, I'm gonna be searching for the rest of it anyways. And we will actually set this this um flag down at the very end of this one. Uh, I don't know if y'all see that too, but. I'm gonna pretend that ain't happening. I actually had some really uh, thing, really bad things that were kind of making me mad early. Oh, here's another village. Well, a couple bad things that were making me, or a couple of bad things that were making me mad earlier today with this game, and it was that the moon lander. When you first land on the moon, you come down and you have to hold space, and you're in a moon lander. If you've ever seen like um trying to think of the moon lander from Apollo I think it's um oh gosh it's Neptune no not Neptune it's um Polaris I can't remember basically it's it's the moon lander of Apollo it looks similar to that it looks like a real based it's definitely based off of a real moon lander and it kept on for some reason it appears back in the overworld once you go back because you're supposed to take off from your rocket to get back but now I didn't take off from my rocket so I was kinda mad that it was there in the first place and then also it was in the ground and you couldn't even like you couldn't even make it out like maybe if it had landed on the top of the thing where I launched the rocket that would look pretty cool but no I got stuck in the ground so I was sitting there for about half an hour and I had to finally I just logged off the server and logged back on and that's actually what fixed it. Don't know what had happened. Um, entity entity failure, I don't know. I really don't. But um Yeah, that's what's been going on today. I actually haven't had much go on. I've been playing on the server lately. So I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. I find this stuff fun, really. I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. I'd actually like to make a base on here. Base out here in the moon. But right now I'm just having I, I just want to make a base out in space. That'd look really cool. I've always I've always dreamed of that for some reason. Having a base in space or on Mars. I've always liked Mars. Probably either if I had a base for space, I'd have it on Mars or Okay, that opposes a question. Uh that yeah. Whatever you want to say. That asks a question. What's your favorite planet? Um, maybe you like Neptune. Maybe you like Saturn. It's like one of the most buoyant planets. It's supposed to be almost able to float on water. Pluto, which isn't even a planet anymore. All right, here we go. We found a found a moon dungeon. So that's good. All right. Um, now, when you first come to these moon dungeons, there's going to be a lot of ores and stuff up here. I'm not going to really worry about them because you can get these ores in the overworld just from thermal expansion. But once you go down here, I'm going to start doing stuff right away, and that is destroying these spawners. Now these are, this is really going to make me mad because I can already see it coming. First off, the torches in this mod, they won't work because torches don't work out in space, which makes sense. But, you know, I mean, at the same time... It's kind of hard to see, and I doubt like on video it's even worse. So this is gonna get really annoying real fast. The first dungeon I went to today actually had really good lighting for some reason. And dang, there's like tons of them spawning. Oh, how'd I get turned around? Oh, get here, get here, get here. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, why isn't that on first off? Yeah, that's kind of... That's not good. And I just realized I don't have a helmet. But you know, we're going to do this anyways. Even if I have to turn to peaceful at some point, just to delete all the mobs and then go back to easy mode again. And we're doing it. In this episode right now, right here. We're doing it. 
I already used like a lot of my torches. Stop lagging. I don't even know why it is lagging. Ooh, look at that. I was able to sneak past it. Don't start this with me, creeper. Oh, uh oh. Man, I am so lost right now. I see that though, that's a skeleton. I literally can't see anything. I've never seen it this dark before, and I know my brightness settings are all the way up. Look, it's like, man, for me, it's like super bright. This is like, why can't I see anything compared to earlier today when I could? And I also have a surprise when we get back. Hopefully, it hasn't hatched yet, um, which I'm guessing now you can tell what it is. It's a, it is a dragon. I'm going to plant torches just so I know that I've been down these different directions. Eight skeletons. If I could get rid of one mob in Minecraft, it would be skeletons because all they do, they even made them worse. Why do what they did? They made them worse. I can't even get out of here. Look at this. Oh my. Okay, I'm putting it on peaceful. I really am. That, that pisses me off. I don't know why they make them so freaking hard that even in this game like I, I don't even know what to say they're just freaking like they're just annoying they're like one of the most annoying mobs there's the there's the mob boss up there hopefully we can get on up there if I don't keep dying almost dying anyways I didn't die I don't want to die. Alright, now I'll turn it back up to easy because I think it has to be on easy. But, here's the boss, okay? That's him right there. Now he can be... Oh my god, I can't have him throw me in the lava. I really can't. Killed him earlier, so hopefully. Uh oh. Man, he's like. <sighs> Swear to God, if he kills me. Okay, so I didn't know that. Alright, nope, not dying. I'm not letting that happen. I'm not going to let myself die. That's gay. Alright, <laughs> I bet you there's going to be so many people raging at my video right now. Oh yeah, and he won't spawn now because it's on peaceful. I don't understand why they got to make a boss that's so stupid. Like, why can't they make a boss that's legit? Okay, and now, now what? So now the boss isn't going to spawn? Actually, I don't even see... Oh, yes, there is. What's, is this it? Let me just be sure. Is there even a... If there's not even what I think there's supposed to be here, then I'm not even going to continue this. Oh, wait. Or is this the way I came? Just so you guys know, there's supposed to be a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, there is. Okay, good. There's supposed to be a chest down there at the very end. Oh, 
Oh yes, I killed him. So then when you kill him, here's basically what he does. He spins around in a circle. He makes that ugly noise. You get a bunch of XP, which I don't even care about anymore. Because I can just get it from the bushes. And then you get this key. Now this is the main part, okay? Basically what this key does is... I don't have inventory space, so... Please give it to me anyway. Okay, there it goes. Basically what this key is, is it's a... It's a treasure chest key. And you just saw me go into the room. But the room is right here. And basically what the room is, is a room where you can stick this key into the chest. And then... Uh, which side is it on? It's right here. And then you open it. And if you look at it, the key turns. It's pretty cool. But I don't think you can pick up this. Another tier 2 rocket. Schematic. God dang it. I don't think you could pick up the, um, thing. The key. I mean, I don't think you could pick up the, uh, chest. I've tried it, or I tried it earlier. So, that sucks, but, alright, we're gonna get rid of some of this stuff that I don't care about. Alright, and now we are going to simply go up here and just click on it, because I really don't have enough time to do all the other stuff. So, yeah, basically that's about it, guys. Um, oh, yep. Here we go. Let's pretend we just got off the rocket, okay? We just got off the moon lander. Uh, let me let me rephrase that, the moon lander. And we got off, and now we're floating. Let's pretend we got off, like, right here, okay? Alright. So first we get off, and the first thing we say is, One small step for man <laughs> one giant leap for mankind <sighs> alright there we go so now we um, are on the moon and also if you look it's pretty cool your footprints and stuff remain so that's pretty nice you can do like patterns in the sand or whatever it'd be kinda cool um, and we are gonna go back into no you know what let's do it like this right here and we'll go, we'll put it, ooh, I don't know, actually, good question. I didn't know mobs spawn, like, right out in the middle of the open. You know what we're going to put? We're going to put it over here on this hill. Okay, wow. So many mobs, don't know why. Alright, and I claim this land in the land of... Oh, Kelly. I claim this land in the land of Sly Retribution. So now, we are the owners of the moon. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. And peace.